Hello friends. In this problem a semicircle has been given and inside this semicircle we have a full circle. This full circle touches the diameter of semicircle at point A. That is this diameter is a tangent to this circle at point A. The distance AB is given this distance is equals to 4 unit and distance CA is given that is the radius of a smaller circle this is equals to 3 unit. The point M is point of contact where these two circles are touching to each other internally touching. We have to find the area of red shaded region that is this region. So we have to find area of this region. Now I will solve this problem by using some construction and I will use a theorem from circle. So let us first connect point O and point M. So let us draw a line OM and this line will also pass through center of a smaller circle that is point C. This can be proven. So since this point is a common point of contact, we can draw a common tangent. So this is a tangent. This tangent is a tangent on semicircle and this is also tangent on full circle. And we know if we, draw, if we draw perpendicular on tangent, it will pass through the center. So let us draw a perpendicular on this tangent. So it will pass through center of bigger circle that is point O and it will also pass through center of a smaller circle that is point C. This means if I draw a perpendicular this will pass through C and this will also pass through O. So this means MCE are collinear and MCE all lie on the same line. So OM this is basically radius of semicircle. OM is equals to OB and these two distances are basically equal to the radius of semicircle. Let us call radius of semicircle is capital R. As I said earlier, OM will pass through point C. So this line will also pass through center of full circle. Now what is distance OE? This point is point E and this point is O. So what is this distance? We know this total distance is capital R and this distance is 3 unit because radius of a smaller circle is 3 unit. So this is 3 unit and this is 3 unit. So this total is 6 unit. So this means this is equals to R minus 6 unit. So OE is equals to R minus 6 unit. What is OA? So OA is this length. This total length that is OB is equals to radius R, capital R. And this distance is equals to 4 unit. This means this distance is equals to R minus 4 unit. Now I will use a theorem from circle. And this theorem says if you have a circle from any external point you can draw a tangent, this is PT is the tangent and you can draw a line, this PAB which intersect this circle at point A and intersect at point B. So this theorem says this distance PT square is equals to PA times PB. So now I will use this theorem to solve this problem. Now let us consider this point O. For this circle, this point O is the external point. And from this point O we have drawn a tangent line. So this is a tangent. So in, K, in this case this point OA is same as PT. So this is the tangent. And then this line intersect this circle at point E and point M. So this is similar to this line that is A and B in this case E and M. So now I can say that is 
OA square that is this distance square which is similar to PTA square equals to OE that is this is equals to PA here. So OE times OM that is this distance OM which is similar to PB that is OE times OM. Now let us plug all these distances. OA is equals to R minus 4. So this is R minus 4 whole square. OE, OE is equals to R minus 6 and OM this is equals to capital R because this is the radius of semicircle. Now I can expand this. This is R minus 4 whole square. This is nothing but A minus B whole square. This is equals to A square plus B square minus 2AB. So this is R square and this is 4 square is 16 and minus 2AB is equals to 8R and if you multiply this then this becomes R square minus 6R. So this R square this R square cancels and if you take 8R this side so this becomes 8R minus 6R that is 2R. So 2R is equals to 16. So this will be 16 here. So 2R is equals to 16 this means R is equals to 8. So now I know radius of semicircle is equals to 8 unit. So once I know the radius, I can calculate the shaded area. So this shaded area is nothing but area of semicircle, the total circle minus area of full circle. And area of semicircle is nothing but pi r square by 2 where r is the radius of semicircle and area of full circle is pi r square where r is the radius of this smaller circle. Now we have already calculated semicircle has a radius of 8 units so this is pi into 8 square divided by 2 minus pi times radius of a smaller circle is 3 units so this is pi times 3 r 3 a square. So this will be 64 divided by 2 that is 32 pi and this is 9 pi. So 32 pi minus 9 pi this is equals to 23 pi. So I hope you enjoyed this video to find the shaded area. Basically in one of the video I have used Pythagoras theorem to solve the same problem using a different method. So if you like my videos, please share with your friends, like on my channel and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.